What do you do when you've done everything in Craftopia? You start playing around with physics and dashboards and cannons and see what you can do. Uh, so, so you can see I've been messing around. I've done some other episodes where I've messed around with some dashboards. There I was just having a little fun with the sheep and then throwing myself on there to see what would happen. Uh, but what I'm going to show you is a way to fly using a cannon and gravity gloves. Now this wasn't easy to do. Um, I've seen somebody else do this before and I, I had just had to figure out how to do it on my own. Um, but it's pretty interesting and it actually works really well when you can get it to do what you need it to do. Um, so you're going to need for this some gravity gloves and a cannon. And what you have to do is flip a cannon over upside down somehow. Um, I've been messing around so you see I actually grabbed some wrong things and flipped them over. Um, but I've been trying to get it where I can flip this over. And you got to jump on top of it with the gravity gloves. Use the gravity glove to pick it up and you have now achieved flight. Uh, it almost looks like a spaceship with just, just a big cannon on it. On the bottom of it, like there's a spaceship missing on top. Uh, it's really hard to control. And what I found is every time you turn, you keep getting higher and higher. Uh, so this is really a short term uh, way of transportation, but it is a quick way of transportation. And because the cannons are easy to build, they don't take a lot of resources. You could build a bunch of cannons and just have a bunch of these on hand to do some really quick travel. I don't know if this will translate to the seamless world. Um, they may eventually patch this. It seems kind of like a glitchy bug, but it's still fun. Um, you just kind of jump out of it and you're going to be really high up. You notice that I, I basically I jumped and got shot out of the cannon and the cannon is still up there. It's just hanging out. I, I don't know what's going to happen to this cannon. Um, so I'm just kind of gliding down. I'm going to run out of stamina. So I just, I'm going to drop and go into a hero fall. And I got a supply pod falling somewhere. Um, what? What was that? I don't, there was something that just, what is that? Something is flying. Maybe it's my cannon. Maybe it fell out of the sky. Let me, uh, let me go see if I can find it. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the cannon fall out of the sky. Usually it stays in the sky, but once again, this is kind of a really a glitchy uh, thing that I'm I'm kind of messing with the physics here. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what can you know is possible. I, I've just recently done this a couple of times, um, so I'm gonna go over and look and see if I can find if that was the cannon that dropped. I don't see it anywhere around here. And it's so high up, you really can't hardly see it in the sky if it's still there. It might still be there. I don't know what happened there. Um, that was kind of weird. What is that? That is probably what just fell out of the sky. It was a mono glitching out. So I don't know if that was a direct result of what I did. Um, or if this mono just glitched, got hit by something else and glitched into the sky. I've seen other things glitch in the sky like goblins. I've, I've got a couple of shorts where I show that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. He's just stuck in the perpetual phase state. I'm just going to kill him. And I'm going to kind of show you uh, another little trick that I did with the cannon that while I was trying to do this, that I was messing around and accidentally completed a mission that I've been avoiding for a long time just because I got a magic. So I was trying to flip, figure out how to flip this cannon over and I'm about to do something that I've never seen happen, but I guess it's possible to uh, maybe use your cannon as a buff. So I'm just trying to flip this and I accidentally jump in this cannon 
and boom, it shot me out. And basically I punched or it caused it counted as a punch in that merchant and completed that mission. Like I said, this is not an easy task to get these to flip over. Um, there's probably a trick to it. I just haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, it, it seems they always want to kind of correct themselves, but there is a way to completely flip them over. And it has to be completely upside down. It can't be on its side. Uh, it can't be kind of, you know, partially flipped over. It almost has to be all the way in the base has to be flat so that you can jump on top of it. And that's why I've been, you know, you see some stuff knocked over. I was just trying to mess around and get this to flip the right way. Um, I think if you use some walls, maybe, maybe a, a quarter, you know, wall or quarter floor might help do it at the right angle. Um, and you'll get stuck in it like I just did now uh, several times when you're trying to flip them over. Uh, so be careful with that. You can always kind of jump out of them if you get stuck like that. You know, so I've, I've used the gumball machine trying to get the roll of it. There you go. See, I, that's how I did that. I mean, it's it's not optimal, and I don't know if it was the gumball machine or that chest there, but somehow it got flipped over completely. It has to be flat like that, and then off you go. And you're flying around again. So I don't know how practical this is, but uh, still a pretty cool trick. Uh, it's definitely a, a quick way to zoom across a map. Um, so you may want to give it a try, mess around with it. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this, if you've done this before. Uh, it's a pretty cool trick. Uh, if you got any questions, drop a comment, and I'll try my best to answer it. But, uh, you know, just having a lot of fun messing around uh, with the physics in the game and the sandbox of the game uh, and just the different ways of transportation and stuff. All right, everybody, that's all I've got today. Thanks for watching.